Hello there guys and welcome back to Reborn with Michael Watson. Today I'm holding the camera because I left my laptop when I went to do some work in Wales the other day. So uh, yeah, that's getting delivered back to me. Not ideal uh, when you're running a few challenges and, and <laughs> but a phone can suffice for now. So I wanted to talk about, uh, that's my dog in the background there. Do you want to see him? Uh, where are you? Max. <laughs> so basically, I'm talking about today Neville Goddard's ladder experiment, okay? The ladder experiment, why it's so important and why he did it and why we need to do it. Before I do that, please do like, share and subscribe and comment down below. Uh, it really helps the channel to be seen by more people. Also, please join my free Facebook group, The Healing Circle, which is a wonderful group of like-minded people where I want to help you to create, manifest and do wonders in your life. So guys, so what we're going to talk about today is the ladder experiment. So in the mind, really, what we're doing is uh, Neville Goddard taught a few of his followers here to, you know, imagine themselves climbing up a ladder. Also, he said, imagine yourself not climbing. I will not climb up a ladder. I will not climb up a ladder. He did it in two ways. OK, so the first one is the imagination of climbing the ladder, you know, and we see it in our mind and the, and the ladder is... Uh, you know, it's just a very non-emotional uh, aspect of things to do. And why I want to explain why that is important is because actually when you're on a manifestation journey to manifest riches or health or anything in your experience here, we need to understand that it is the emotional aspect of things. It's the resistance that is holding you back. So when you're imagining climbing a ladder, in your mind, you can really feel, see, and comprehend climbing a ladder. It also, because it doesn't really change your life, the aspect of it, there's no like want of it. It's just done without <clears throat> any feeling of a need. It's done more just for the idea of feeling the vision. What happens is, is people tend to then just let it go and forget about it. And, it, and then they will find that they end up climbing a ladder in their life and I've done it before myself and it was so interesting because I did it and then suddenly I was like, oh, uh, I can't believe it. Yeah, that is exactly how I imagined it to be. And I've done it before with Dr. Joe Dispenza's technique of <clears throat> manifesting an object. You know, I manifested a red balloon and it wasn't until I stopped really caring that I started to manifest, you see. So what I'm trying to point across, put the point across here is, is that Within manifestation, it is the lack of resistance that, that brings the manifestation to be. So when you're assuming the feeling of climbing a ladder, it is easy to assume that state of being because it doesn't have any true effect on your existence. But when you're someone who is trying to manifest money because they don't have any, you can't help but feel a need for it. And it is that need alone that is holding you back. If you're trying to manifest help, health, often we can't get out of the way of the need for health. You see, when you're, when you're visualizing the ladder, you don't really care whether it happens or not. It's just an interesting experiment. And that is the whole point of surrender, really. And why surrender is one of the most powerful ways to manifest. Because actually, when you start to lose a care, in uh, for something when you're not really you're nonchalant divinely indifferent is how I call it you start to uh, amplify its potential in you because you are not there searching for it you're not there in want in lack it doesn't it as soon as you've climbed the ladder in your mind you've climbed the ladder and it's done you know like it is done but when I'm working with people on a healing they go okay I want to heal and we start to work on it we start to release and let go, and we maybe will start to visualize health and what it feels like. But then they can't help but notice the lack of it when they open their eyes. See, when you open your eyes from the ladder technique, you go, I climbed a ladder, that was fun. I'm done now, let's move on, let go. You see? So it teaches us the aspect of manifestation, the simplicity of the idea. So we need to start to actually make our manifestation smaller in our mind. Not the amount that we want to manifest, not the not the want, not the forgive me, not the thing we want to manifest. Our emotional 
sort of like want for it. it it's big. So like to have a healing, say you're in pain or you're, or you're needing money to pay the mortgage or the bills, there is such an emotional standpoint behind that. It, it, you, you don't do it with any sort of just nonchalant divine indifference. You're doing it like I must do this, I've got to create this and I've been taught these exercises so I'm going to create from it. But the truth is, is actually what we need to do is go, wait a sec, it doesn't matter. It's all meaningless. It's all meaningless because I live in a spiritual world that's reflected in front of me. <clears throat> there is no meaning. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. This physical aspect, when I say meaningless, I'm not taken away from what you're going through. But when you get a bit of that energy where it's meaningless, the ideas in my mind are what it matters. This is all meaningless, really. And you start to let go. And that's when you really surrender to life. And you realise that... <clears throat> My life is simply the reflection of my, of my past thoughts and feelings. So now I'm just not going to entertain anything else, except the fact that what I want is done. Now I just got to enjoy the ride. <laughs> and that's surrender. <clears throat> I love to add surrender to my intentions. So I'm going to intend. I've got some really exciting things that I'm planning for the new year for my followers and, and people who want to work with me. So I've got an intention behind that. But now it's like, well, now I just need to implement it and let go. I open it up to the people and then let it go. What it becomes is what it's going to become. But my intention, I believe and I know it will be big. And I know this channel is about to grow exponentially over the next few months. So thank you. All of, the, all of you have been on this journey with me. But I am indifferent, I'm divinely indifferent about what, when and where it happens. I just know it is going to happen, it is done already. You need to get like this in your manifestations. Write down below, have you manifested anything wonderful by being very divinely indifferent? Let me know. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.